to show you how you can recover all your application from Google Authenticator. Take for instance, you have a Google Authenticator set up right on your phone and uh, you misplace your phone or either got your phone wiped and uh, you don't know how to recover all application back. Maybe your Binance account, your email account, your uh, Facebook account, your Instagram, whichever account you have signed up on your phone and you don't know how to get that back. You have been trying in the means of forget password but yet you still have a google authenticator set up so uh, it's asking for you to get uh, your google authenticator otp okay and uh, you can't access that because you don't have the keys the 16 keys or the 12 keys the 11 keys you use to set up the google authenticator all right so i'm going to show you how you can recover back those keys have your google authenticator set up and then use that to open uh, whichever app you are using okay all right, hello there guys and welcome back to this channel once again uh if you're watching a video in this channel for the very first time please know that what we do in this channel is that we show you various means you can make money for yourself so if you're interested in such content of how you can make money online and offline businesses simply hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so you get notified when our video is being posted on this channel okay now for today's video i've been getting uh complaints a lot that uh most of my students and uh my uh subscribers they have misplaced uh, their phone or get their phone wiped or maybe their phone were wiped or maybe their phone uh, was wiped and uh, they end up not able to uh, log in back to their account being the fact that they have a google authenticator on it okay and uh, having a google authenticator it's a very tight security but when uh, you misplace your phone you find it difficult to access those applications that have a google authenticator on them but today i'm going to show you how you can get back your google authenticator keys either the 16 or the 12 keys whichever one that was given on to you i'm going to show you how you can get it on various apps use it uh, to uh put it back into the google authenticator and derive your otp okay so watch this video from the beginning to the end and i'm going to show you until how you can recover your account from scratch how you can recover your account any account you have a google authenticator set up on it how you can recover them and uh, start using it again all right so jump right in all right so uh, the first thing you want to put into consideration is your recovery step what you have as a recovery uh steps maybe maybe you may have a recovery email or a recovery phone number but if you have none there is no problem okay but uh, you have to put that into consideration that's gonna make it very easy okay it's gonna make it easy for us and also if you have a google account it's also gonna make it easy okay now uh after checking right, right up you need to then know if uh, you have a spare email maybe you have two email three email or maybe you have two phone numbers you need to put that also into consideration okay that will also make it easy for us all right so so after taking note of all that the next thing you should do is uh you want to open up either your browser your email application or a google application okay now for the sake of this story i'm going to do it with a browser but it will still direct me to at uh, the same place which is the google app okay also if you're using an email application it will direct you also to the google app and uh, if you're using also from your settings as well you can do it from your settings and you can select google uh from your settings okay but i'm just gonna go right here and use my chrome for this i click on chrome now once i click on chrome it opens for me now i want you guys to take note of this okay you can see a little an icon image a profile um, image right at the top right there let me point that out for you all right so you can see this right here all right please guys please take note of this all right because i've been getting a lot of complaint that uh you can't access your binance application because you have lost your uh, uh your email or you don't know your google authenticator you just got a new phone how can you get back your 16 uh keys to set up your google authenticator back and that's why i'm making this video right here now so pay more attention to this okay so guys in your google application you want to click on your profile icon of your google account okay right there at the top once you click on it it opens your uh google account you then click on your profile right at the top right here also this one right here guys take note of this you click right here all right so once you click on that guys once you click on that it opens your google application you can see i have series of account i have a lot of google account i'm covering that now because of our security reasons then uh, i want to uh, open up the first one okay the first one is what i want to open and i can see manage your account there guys i'll just go ahead and click on where it says manage your account okay manage your account right there 
So once I click on manage your account, it takes me to Google uh, application. Now, this is why I say you can use a Google application for this or you can use uh, your browser for this, okay? So it takes me here to the Google application. The next thing I want to do in the Google application is that I want to go ahead and uh, look for the security tab, guys. You can see yours like this or it can be in a vertical format. So whichever format it is, just look for the security tab either by scrolling down or by scrolling at the top right here and clicking on securities. Now once I click on security, guys, I then scroll down. On scrolling down, I scroll down, I scroll down gradually, gradually. All right, I scroll down. All right, now, guys. So I can see the place where it says "sign in to other site." Okay, it can be signed into other sites. It can be signed into other account. It can be account linked. Guys, take note of all this. It could be account linked, accounts linked. It could be signed into other account or sign in uh, to other site okay so i'm just going to either click on a uh, password manager but i'm just going to click on this uh, password manager right here if i click on it guys take note of it this is it this is it right here okay so once i click on that it brings out some series of accounts i have signed up okay guys now what are uh, this account that are here guys take note of this are either accounts you have used your email to sign in we're actually looking for every account we have signed in with our email okay that's what we're trying to recover so what we want to do is i want to look for the account we will actually want to open in this case scenario i, I actually want to open up the binance app because uh, most complaints were from my students which I was teaching. They said they have a Google Authenticator in the Binance application and they have misplaced the phone. They have their email set up but how can they get their Authenticator uh, keys back to set up the Google the, the Google Authenticator app and get uh, the, the 6 OTP from it and are put into the Binance. Okay guys, I believe you understand what I'm saying now. So I uh, want to I want to select the Binance app guys. You can go from the series of email you are looking for guys. Check whichever application you want to open. Okay, you can see a, a lot of application I have right here. Okay, so I want to open up the Binance app and I have two account rights in the Binance application. I have to open up uh, either use my pin or my uh, screen lock. Now guys, so you can see the, I have two account right here on Binance and also the passwords are here but you should take note that the google authenticator is not here now why is that is because this binance account i have right here i didn't uh, use a uh, google authenticator on them okay guys now don't get me wrong it's very good for you to use google authenticator on your binance account or any other application you're using but uh for me now i haven't uh, bind my uh, google authenticator okay guys so if i had my google authenticator on you would have seen those uh uh keys right here the 16 keys guys because if you give it if you want to link a google authenticator either to binance application email facebook whichever application you want to put in google authenticator google authenticator will always bring you a 16 keys or a 12 keys and tell you to uh, download the google authenticator app and put that keys there to generate uh, Google Authenticator security is that right? I believe that's how it works. So uh, those 12 keys would have appeared here. Those 12 keys, those 16 keys would be here if I was using a Google Authenticator. But I'm not using a Google Authenticator, so you can see that keys right here. Okay, guys. So I want you to go ahead and try your own. On trying your own, you're gonna see those keys right here. Okay. So when you're trying your own after watching this video. You copy those keys you can see i can copy my email here i can copy my password here so if those keys was available here i'll copy it as well then go and open up the google authenticator app all right and set that up with that keys okay after i've done that in fact let me show you how you can do that okay so once you have those keys right here you copy them up okay now i want to open back my google authenticator on my binance app okay my google authenticator is what i want to recover on my binance app all right so i go right here to copy those 12 keys and then i open my google authenticator up Let, let's open the google authenticator app now and i'll try that all right guys so uh, right here we are up on our uh, google authenticator application and this is how the interface looks like guys so uh, if you're new to this place you'll be seeing uh, this option right here this option you can see this option right here guys you'll be seeing it at the middle that's the only option you will be seeing but since i'm not new here i've been using google authenticator for a while now i'm gonna see it like this so i click on this plus sign right here i'm gonna click on this plus sign right here 
at the bottom right here so on clicking on that plus and the two option comes up like that you'll be seeing these two option only okay these two option will be what you've seen which is one to scan a url code or two to enter those keys okay guys now the keys you are entering is those keys you picked up from your uh, google site okay those 16 keys or 12 keys whichever the number is so once you have that you simply click on enter right here enter uh, enter the setup keys so on entering the setup keys guys you enter the name of account you are putting if it's a facebook account instagram twitter account but this time we're using we want to use it for our binance account this is just for a reminder so that you know the account this authenticator uh code belongs to okay so i put in the binance name then i'll put in those 16 keys i just copied or the 12 keys whichever one i put it right here then i will select either time base or counter now counter can only change if you tap on it okay but for the time base it will keep uh changing after every 50 seconds okay so take note of that so the time base and the counter you can use that i prefer using the time base okay so after setting up the time base you simply click on add all right so once you click on add you have it set up like this it will be like this and you see the time base going also there you have your code set up you can copy it and then use it as your google authenticator code okay guys so guys what i want you to do is to give it a shot and let me know if this works guys this is not the only method but this is the simplest method guys try this method and if it doesn't work let me know there are other methods you could use other long process you could use to recover that but this is very short so i decided to make this video so that uh, you can get this okay but uh do it try it if it doesn't work let me know in the comments area and i will uh, attend to all the comments there so go down to the comment area now if you've tried this and it's not working or you can't do this just let me know exactly where you got stuck in the comment area and i will make another video on another process there are lots of process guys that you can use to do this okay so uh try this one and if it doesn't work let me know i'll make other video and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me please it helps you youtube algorithm a lot all right so give this video a very big thumbs up right there and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when i make the other steps which uh can help you out you can get that as well okay guys so turn on that notification bell tell me if this works for you i'll make a video and you get notified once i make that video since you have turned on the notification bell so don't forget to turn on that notification bell right there after all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video i really hope that this worked for you and you're able to recover your binance or whichever account you're trying to recover back but just like i have said if it doesn't work let me know and i'll make another video on the other process you can use okay so try this one out first and make sure to turn on that notification bell i keep saying it because when i make another video for you on these steps you may not get that notification if your bell icon is not turned on okay so turn it on all right all right thank you very much once again and i hope to see another video okay bye